In this video, I'm going to do something a little different than I have been. Um, I'm going to talk about a vehicle that I believe is basically perfection in engineering. And for this video, I'm going to talk about the Nissan GTR. Now, for the beginning, I'm going to talk about the pre-2012 models. That's from 2008 to 2011. Um, these had a 3.8 liter twin turbo V6 and this was hand built by a single person in a climate controlled room in Japan. Now this puts out 480 to 485 horsepower depending on the year that you get. 0 to 60 and 3.5. It has been reported lower to about a 3.2. Um, 60 to 0 and 98 feet was the lowest I heard. That was uh, from inside line I believe. Um, and 1G in lateral acceleration. Uh, drag coefficient of 0.27, this is extremely low. One thing the GTR does very well is it channels all the air to the rear spoiler, so it still does create a great amount of downforce even while having an extremely low drag coefficient. Um, another thing that it can do that's kind of tricky, uh, it can adjust its shocks in its four-wheel drive system every one one-hundredth of a second based on input that the computer is receiving from the road conditions. Now I can't really describe why the Nissan GTR is, um, how, it, how it has become perfection in engineering. I don't know how they do it to be honest. It's, it's kind of a magical vehicle um, which I'll show based on these track times. So these first track times are from Top Gear's test track. Um, so we've got a 119.5, 1 minute 19 and a half seconds. And this is the Aerial Atom 2 300s. The, uh, it's basically a track car, 300 horsepower, and only weighs 1,350 pounds. Um, 4.5 pounds per horsepower. Now the reason the Nissan GTR is so impressive is how quick it is for how much weight it has for how much horsepower it has. It has a very high amount of weight, 3,820 pounds, and not that great of horsepower, only 485 horsepower. So it puts it at a 7.88 pound per horsepower. Now, it's got basically the same time. It's 0.2 seconds slower on the test track than the Aerial Atom, and it has a 73% 70 disadvantage uh, as far as pounds per horsepower than the Aerial Atom. This is like adding 1,000 pounds to the Nissan GTR to make them even in a pound per horsepower race and it having the same lap time. It really doesn't make any sense. Let's keep going. So here we've got Nurburgring times. Corvette ZR1, ZR1, now these are this is an older time, has a 726.4. These are the same year um, models, that's why I put them together. Uh, so it's got a 726.4, the Nissan GTR just three tenths of a second slower. Now let's look at the pound per horsepower. The Corvette's got 3,352 pounds and 638 horsepower. The Nissan GTR does basically the same lap with 470 extra pounds and a loss of 150 horsepower. So it's got a 50% pound to horsepower disadvantage and it's like the Nissan GTR completing the Nurburgring with the same time except weighing 5,000 pounds so that it have an even pound to horsepower ratio with the Corvette ZR1. It just, it's absolutely insane. Now the 2012 GTR is even more impressive. It's going to weigh about the same, 3,829 pounds, but they've added a significant power boost. It's now up to 530 horsepower. It's 0 to 60 is at 2.9 seconds, and that's with a power, that's with a weight to horsepower of 7.22 pounds per horsepower. Now, if you can find another car that can do a 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds with a 7.2 pound per horsepower uh, weight to horsepower, then, then let me know. I honestly don't know if one exists. Um, so here we've got Top Gear test track times again, 117.8 was posted by the 2012 GTR, and 117.8 was also posted by the Pagani Zonda Roadster F. Now this car weighs significantly less, it's significantly more powerful, the GTR has a 73% pound per horsepower disadvantage, and it still manages the exact same time. One more thing. The price of the, because the Pagani Zonda is a little ridiculous, uh, I think it's like $1.4 million. So you could get 16 GTRs for the exact same price as the Pagani Zonda. Now on the Nurburgring once again, uh, the 2012 has posted a 724.22 in semi-wet conditions. 
This is ahead of Maserati MC12, a Pagani Zonda F, and the Ferrari Enzo. So on average, these cars weigh 944 pounds less than the GTR and have on average 110 more horsepower than the GTR, yet it's quicker than them. How is it possible? 